This is another Alco that I've had for quite some time. It was a satin silver that was pretty beat up. So I went ahead and had it repainted and um, I put in a dual DC cans by S&S and I wanted some kind of a nice controller and I wanted something unique and I really liked the horn and the ability to add a smoke if I wanted to and lighting so I, uh, so I did So this is what I use to pull the Corvette passenger crane, um, but it may get recommissioned. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I may do something else, um, but I just thought I'd show you what Alco smoke looks like if you hadn't seen it. And um, been testing a few of my other engines everything seems to be working I got my golf engine working the old Corvette engine is working um, Illinois Central mountain engine is working even the um, New York Central Express is working and the New York Central 5405 they all worked I threw the old Franklin down he worked this guy was working the other day, you know, the chrome chrome dome with two engines. Yeah, everything I had, I put out and was working. It was pretty exciting. Um, I ended up finding, I have this leftover cattle car thing. I'm gonna, might put a K5, radial K5 on that one. Say it's hauling the cattle to Kansas or something like that. I got my E8 tucked away somewhere, and then I got these these babies. They deserve a Hudson or a Northern aluminum. They are so awesome, but they're pink, <laughs> and they're pretty original, so I don't want to monkey with them. Should be fun. Should be fun. That's for my Chicago Freight. Maybe I'll put that on with the cattle. <laughs> these are the spare parts for the Tucker. Uh, yeah, we have fun. Yeah, I just like steak and shake. And then I still have the streamline engine for the honeymoon or the wedding anniversary. That was for the 15th. This year will be 19. Holy moly. There's Margaret. Isn't she the cutest thing? <laughs> There's me, Mr. Dork. I don't know. It just works. That's all I can say. It's been working. It's fine. If she likes me, I'm okay with that. Wouldn't you be? Okay. Oh, and then the Oz. You know the Oz guys. I'm going to get that guy going. There's the baggage car for the Oz, too. That's what I need. I need a another burgundy a burgundy mailbag car for this train here. Because I was reading about the Illinois Central Mountain, and it was made for fast passenger. So I think I'm going to convert it to passenger. I was going to have it do the cattle, but that's kind of... <laughs> demeaning for that masterful engine. I mean, it is uh, 482, you know? That's pretty cool. Okay, that's it. I gotta get to work. I'm supposed to be organizing.